G'day and welcome to the next episode of Tech Adept Crafts. My name's Anthony and today we are going to be talking about these mushrooms. These ones today are the fourth and final installment of the mushrooms that I am painting up for my Goblin Grotto board. So we will be able to get back into designing and building that board. These mushrooms are from printable scenery, just as the Blooming Lanterns, the uh, magic mushrooms, and these ones are the morel mushrooms. These mushrooms, they are from Thingiverse, so there I have four different sets. And I think the, the contrast of, of different colours will really, really set the board alive once they're all on the table. Just a, a few other little pieces of terrain, and already I, I'm, just, I'm itching to get a game going in this Goblin Grotto board. I have to make it first. Anyway, hope that you enjoy the video teaching how to paint these morel mushrooms. Um, similar to the other ones in the set where I have uh, a gradient of color from one to another. And these ones I've gone blue, green. The magic mushrooms were green, purple, and the blooming lanterns were purple, yellow. So these ones are blue to a, a, a green or a, a, a turquoise color. All of the pieces set up, it just reminds me of an underwater reef. So that's the other option that I have. Instead of doing a Goblin Grotto board, I could turn this into some form of underwater campaign. If you enjoy the video, don't forget, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button so that you never miss uh, another episode from Tech Adept Crafts, and leave a comment as to which of the mushroom set you have enjoyed the most and which one you would like to try, or other color gradients that you think I should, uh, should combine. Don't forget you can follow Tech Adept Crafts on Instagram, at Tech Adept Crafts, and we'd love to see you following us there because there are update photos and uh, other projects that we're not doing videos on. We'll see you at the end of the episode. Cheers. So we have undercoated this black and ready to paint. First layer is Timber Beam. This gives it a nice sort of woody flavor to it and uh, is a good base for the sand color in just a moment. I paint this over the entire model just to lighten from that black undercoat. Sometimes things break. It's really easy to repair these models rather than just go, oh, I need to print a new one. Next color is Jay Burroughs acrylic sand color. And this goes over all of the stalks. You may need to do two coats of this paint uh, just so that it has a nice even coating. Next, using a mix of white and black paint, I've got a grey mix there. I go over all of the stones around the base of the model. The tops of these morel mushrooms are being painted with marine blue by Lenny Takueda Arts. This is a nice dark blue which I'm using to um, undercoat the, the tops of these mushrooms and it's giving me a good base layer for the, for the colour blending that I'm doing later. color dry brushing a sky blue from crafty color this is a really nice blue color and goes well over that dark blue a very stark contrast
now mixing with some turquoise, also from Crafty Color. I am dry brushing a blend of the sky blue and the turquoise of about half the, the tops of those mushrooms. Uh, we then go through with uh, pretty much a straight turquoise on about a third of the tops of those mushrooms. The final step of that dry brushing is going with turquoise and a little bit of white just on the tips. You can see there that that blend of colour is really going nicely. Now using Citadel Layer Emperor's Children, this is a, a lovely pink which is going over all of those nodules, all of these little uh, just fungal nodules all over the model. Now I have to say that this is the probably the single longest process in the entire paint uh, painting process for these models. They are everywhere. They are they're beautiful and they are really a nice feature on the model, but. Uh, yeah, they did take an extremely long time to get all of these done. Applying the wash now. Now this wash is from Black Magic Craft, link above. And I do this over the entire model. I was originally thinking I wouldn't do this over the tops of the mushrooms, but in the end I think the effect worked out quite well. You'll see here with this dry brush of turquoise and white that I rub my finger. That is to ensure that I have enough or not too much paint on the brush. If you can still see your fingerprint, that's enough paint. The second layer is a stronger white. Now we go to white and the Empress Children pink and I mix as I go till I get the color that I want. And then I'm going over all of those nodules again. Every single one is getting a second layer. Morel mushrooms, done. Fantastic. So happy to have all of my mushrooms up and painted. And I love that I have a little theme going through the whole lot of them with those pink nodules. That's the same on all of them. So I'm ready to get that, that big goblin grotto board on its way. Very happy about that. It, it is going to be a very fun but time consuming project. So we'll, we'll look at some updates on Tech Edit Crafts on Instagram and uh, we'll probably have a video later in the year for that one. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, follow us on Instagram at Tech Adept Crafts. Until next time, everybody stay safe, stay happy, stay hobbying, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.